Today, we're gonna find some of the biggest secrets in the Garden of Ban Ban 2. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to the Garden of Ban Ban 2. So, last episode, we finally beat the game, but you guys told me about all the secrets in the game that I haven't seen yet. So, unfortunately, to unlock all of the secrets, I need to start a brand new game. So, here we are. This is where chapter one ended when we crushed Jumbo Josh with the elevator, but that's totally fine. Let me get the orange key card. We're going to open the orange door and let's start making our way to secret number one. Okay, so this is the first thing. I don't know if this is really a secret, but I just didn't realize it the first time I played the game. I completely guessed the order of the desks until I got it right, but you guys told me there's actually a, a method to the madness. So basically it says, notice, you're expected to punch in from lowest to greatest. So basically, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try. So this guy should be first. He's on the red side, but he's the lightest so and i think this is right oh my gosh wait yeah oh my gosh I, guys th this part took me like an hour because i just completely kept guessing all right so that was first that was june then we've got drew who should be this one oh my gosh this is so much easier then we've got what's the next lowest number six we've got rachel which should be this one right here. Thank you, Rachel. And then last but not least is Weverly, which is the this one right here. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm telling you, it took me so long and now I have the green key card. All right, beautiful. By the way, if you guys want to see more Garten of Ban Ban on the channel, hit that like button and subscribe right now. Another thing, I beat the entire game and we never met Sheriff Toadster. What does he say again? Treat others how you would like to be treated with respect. Okay, maybe Toadster is going to be in Garten of Ban Ban 3. Okay, here we go. Now we're making our way to the testing sector. Now, this is where most of the big secrets that you guys were telling me about are. The first thing, uh, this isn't really a secret, but I wasn't reading all of these notes. You guys were telling me to check out the case update reports. This one is case number 10. It is the alias is the bird. After the recent genetic modifications that were applied to case 10, significant behavioral changes have been observed. Aggression towards certain demographics have been completely replaced with protective motherly behavior. Said demographics include individuals of small stature, high-pitched voices, and those with childlike like attributes. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Individuals that, that do not fall in said demographics are still met with extreme aggression that can turn lethal due to the case's large size and possession of a very sharp beak. Okay, so this case report is about Opila. Basically, Opila is protective of children and anyone else that gets close to her, she tries to kill with her sharp beak. Okay, so I made it to the Opila bird section. Now, this is where you guys were telling me there's going to be a hat. So there's the key card. I don't really need that yet. Don't turn the lights out on me. Do not, I literally, I specifically asked you to not, there we go. Thank you. Okay, where? There should be a secret hat somewhere here. At least, oh my, can we stop with the lights? Oh, I think I see it. I think I see it. Yes, I unlocked the top hat. Okay, the next secret actually has to do with slow Celine. Okay, that's not the secret. <laughs> that was not the secret. So you guys told me if I go all the way to the end of the hallway, instead of opening up the door, she's going to give me a little bit more information about herself. Let's wait for her eyes to get wide. Okay, you're getting kind of close to me here, slow sleep. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Stop. Stop. Okay. So basically, there's going to be a door behind me that I can open and escape this crazy snail. But if I keep going down the hallway, she's going to teach us a little bit more about her. At least that's what you guys told me. Let's slow down here, Celine. Hey. I'm hiding right in front of you. I feel like you should be able to see me. So that was actually the door. That was... Oh, I don't know if I've made it far enough yet. Slow, Celine. Do not kill me. Give me information. If you give me information, I will give you information. That's actually a lie. I don't have any information for you, but please, 
Don't kill me. It hurts. This is new. It hurts. What hurts? What hurts? Hopefully we're gonna get a little bit more than just it hurts. Because we haven't heard that yet. All of this from so from Slow Celine is brand new now. Let me know what hurts. I can make you feel better. I, I promise that something Oh. I think she's talking about when she was captured and created. I think that's what's going on here. Is she gonna give me- Okay, okay, I figured I was gonna die at the end of that, but we learned more about Slow Celine. So I made it to a drone customization table, whatever you wanna call it. So let's put the new hat that we just got. I believe it was the- Oh my gosh, wait, I got a lot of hats here. I got a lot- Wait, let's just see what all of these are. So we just got the Santa hat. Okay, let's go back. What does the Santa hat look like? Get over here, Sparky! Sparky, I don't care how ridiculous you think you look. Wait, where, where'd Sparky go? Sparky! Sparky! Oh, there's Sparky. Sparky, come over here. I don't care that you don't like these hats. I want to see what you look like. What is that? I... Oh, it is a... It's a little Santa Claus hat. Oh, I like that one. All right, what else do we have? We've got a cowboy hat. Oh, that sounds like something I want to see. That sounds like something I want to see. Yes, Sparky's got a little cowboy hat on. What's the next one? Party hat? So this one, okay, okay. That one's like a normal little party hat. We've got glasses. Wait, can I actually put like the cool kid glasses on him? Oh, oh, that's so cool. Now Sparky's one of the cool kids. All right, what else do we have? Opila bird beanie. This is probably the one I got in Opila's area. Uh, oh, it wasn't a top hat. It was like a, a beanie with Opila bird on it. And then we've got familiar hat and, pr well, the propeller hat I already put on. What's the familiar hat? What is the familiar hat? It's a top hat, okay? I think there's another hat hidden on one of these umbrellas. At least I thought that's what you guys told me. There's not one there. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's like a big top hat. Oh, and now I have all eight of the hats collected. Awesome. That one is the, oh, I don't a top hat. It's probably, it's probably just called the top hat. And it's a, it, it's a top hat. I don't know what else I expected, but that was kind of cool. Okay, so I just beat the cannon level. Now, this is another secret that you guys were telling me about. This is probably the biggest secret of the entire video. If I pick up an extra one of, uh, an extra one of these fireworks and I go back to the other cannon, apparently we will unlock something special. Now, really quickly, I think there's another note in here. Uh, yeah, here it is, here it is. Uh, case number one, Gavinium. The case mentioned in the previous report has moved an arm, as if its artificial nervous system had worked for a split second. As predicted, GV seemed to provide identical functions to blood when combined with cases three six of type 5. Mammalinian circulatory six systems are ineffective. The case of type 2 from the previous report has also had strange physical effects. GV appears to expand in size where it is set to flow, and as a result, the case has grown a number of veins across its body and has grown significantly in size. Neither growth appears to have any kind of negative effects besides the risk of looking unpleasant to youths. I'm assuming this is what created Jumbo Josh with the veins and the big size. That would make more sense. Okay, so what I want to do, I think I picked up the, the rocket. Yes, I did. So let's go back to where the cannon was. I believe that was in the medical sector. So here's the question. Do I have to aim? Do I have to do anything special or do I just throw it in the cannon? I'm just going to throw it in and hope for the best. Maybe... Oh, yo, we hit a new button. We found a new room in the Garden of Ban Ban 2. Yo, I gotta get Sparky. I gotta get Sparky. Sparky, I do not care if you have a top hat or whatever you have on. You gotta come in here right away. All right, hit this button. Come on, Sparky. Come on, Sparky. Okay, slow down, buddy. Didn't I just hit it? Did I not just hit the button? Come on. Does that not do anything? Okay, so I had to look at the comment section on my last video because you guys always help me. Basically, you guys said once I activate that button, then I have to go to the comms sector and there should be a door that I can open now. Is it? Oh, it's probably this red door. Oh, this is totally going to be what it is. No. 
Wait, what? Guys, sometimes I am dumber than a bag of rocks. Apparently in that secret room, there was a red key card. And that would make a lot more sense because I need the red key card to open the red door. Was I just being dumb? Yep, there. I cannot believe I did all that and forgot to get the key card in the room that I just opened up. All right, perfect. Okay, I am once again back, and now I have the key card, and now the red door opens. All right, this is the brand new room. What is this? Type 5, case 6? Oh my gosh, I have no idea what any of this stuff is. Yo, this is probably where Ban Ban has been monitoring us the entire time. There's like five computer monitors. I don't know what this means. So these five have a check mark. This one, these two don't really have anything. And these two have an X. Oh, there's notes. There's notes. There's notes. Dear Uthman, I am writing you to inform you that we have received and assessed your objection to our decision regarding limiting the number of cases to conduct tests on to 10 and from 10 to 6. We have collectively decided that we would not honor your request and stick with the initial decision, with that reason being that we simply cannot spare enough resources to make your lovely creations come to life if this is how much it takes. This is especially the case considering what has already been wasted res resource wise with very very slow progress and especially after the misunderstanding with case 12 and its sub cases which cost us fortunes we're talking one presentable case of 10 in months the customers are getting upset because we are not delivering what was once promised and getting sued right now is not in our best interest as much as we want this to be the case Gaminium does not grow on trees and our friends down south can only get so much we understand that this might not be the news you wanted to hear, but this is how it has to be. Use what you have left very carefully and see if you can have more presentable cases before the upcoming Bring a Friend Day. So we're learning more and more about the testing and the creations of these monsters. Here we go, letter number two. Hey, I just heard the news and it upsets me just as much as it upsets you, but I do feel we can turn it back around if the six we proceed with turn out well. Oh, that's probably what the chart is. In fact, we have to turn it back around if we want our little secret down in the basement to say a secret. Zolfius can only stay asleep if nobody goes down to investigate. I think the ones we should drop are the spider, the frog, and the snail. The spider honestly gives me the creeps, and if it gives me the creeps, it's going to give the children the creeps. The frog's only purpose is to police the town, but if there's no bad guy to catch, there's no need for the police. I was torn between the green guy and the snail for the last one. I like the snail more, but I feel like it won't be any, it won't be any hyperactive ch children's favorite, so let's drop that one. But hey, at least we were offered to have them drawn on the walls to not let them be forbidden or forgotten. Cheer up. Okay, so now they're trying to decide which monsters to keep making and which ones to cut. So these were the five that they kept. These were the two that they definitely cut. And these are the two that they're in between whether they should keep or not. Here we go. Last note. This is bad. This is very bad. I just revised the architecture behind the ball pit. And it's a miracle this thing has not yet collapsed. The thing can barely support the amount of children we have enrolled in the kindergarten. We're having double that tomorrow. Something really bad is going to happen, and we need to be as far away from here as humanly possible when it does. We've been on the bad side of the wrong people for a long time, and if we're still there when everything goes down, it will be the end of us both. A place like this should not exist. The stuff we've witnessed here should not exist. The casualties that will result from this catastrophe will only serve the greater good, which is shutting down this place once and for all. I'll have a plan ready for tomorrow, now you just go back to packing things. Okay, we have learned a lot. And now it's time to uncover the final secrets. Okay, so now I've made it to the obby. Now you guys were telling me the tape. I think I found the tape last time, but I never used it. There's the tape right there. I should be able to just go right across. Okay, so I got the final tape. Okay, I'm back in the comm center and now I have the second tape. So if I put it in this TV... This is them creating Jumbo Josh, or at least a model of him, probably with Gavinium, which we've learned a little bit about today. Oh, they're injecting him with something. I would assume that's the Gavinium. Also, if I'm missing any secrets today, 
definitely let me know in the comments. I will come back. Was that the end? Okay, so I'm about to get attacked by Ban Bellina. You've been a bad student. Yes, I know I've been a bad student. Actually, I don't know why I've been a bad student. I've done nothing but get attacked by you guys the entire time. Anyway, I think I need to go left. Oh my gosh. Now I don't remember the direction I went, but oh, okay. Get out of my way, Jumbo Josh. I need to press this button. And then I need to lure her over the yellow arrow and smasherino. Sorry about that, Bambolina. Now there's two things. The first thing you guys told me to do is before I open that door is to go backwards. And apparently we can see Nab Nab. Yeah, there he is. There is Nab Nab. So Nab Nab is still alive and he's just staring at me. Now he's not attacking me right now. But he's still there. And then the last thing you guys told me to do is enter the elevator. And I'm going to show you what's going to happen. So let's go in this room. Now I understand these are the tubs of Gavinium. And it says GV. So that's basically the serum that they're using to make all of these monsters. Or at least Jumbo Josh. Now we're going to go down. And you guys basically told me, just look up. What? There it is! Slow Celine is also still out and about. Check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs, and I will see all of you in the next video.